Hey, how you guys doing out there? My name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Crystal Edge Technology Projection Screens using Smart Technology Gain. All right, so today is going to be a very, very, very interesting demonstration, and I'll tell you why. Uh, this is going to be a um, tutorial on how to spray uh, the new Crystal Edge Technology Invisible 4K Cinema. Now, um, like I said, it's very, very easy to apply uh, this chemical. It's not hard to do. Um, you can do this and it'll dry in about 10 to 15 minutes, even faster if you have a fan. Um, it's low VOC, it's eco-friendly, and it's uh, basically you can wash your uh, window off with hot water and soap. Now, the reason why I'm saying this is because say if you coat this on your storefront window and you're thinking, okay, if I coat this on my window, is my window going to look like this forever? No. The chemical will dissolve if you hit it with hot soap and water uh, it will dissolve now for those of you who um, that are going to be buying the blackout cloth I would suggest you do not wipe your screen down with hot water and soap because you would dissolve the chemical the chemical is very durable it will, it will last for a, a, a um, long period actually it'll last for a few years about three years three to four years if you basically take care of it well as you would do with anything if you take care of it well so uh, if we do, when we do the invisible blackout cloth uh, you just have to make sure that you just don't get anything you don't splash anything hot on your screen which I don't know why you would have anything near your screen of a liquid form but um, especially I, I just don't understand that part so I just have to put that out there to begin with alright so for those of you who have storefronts I uh, just simple and plain like I said when you get done doing your advertisement say you want to go back to your original um, display you can do that with the chemical um, with the uh, crystal um, crystal uh, sorry the crystal H technology invisible uh, 4k cinema now um, what I'm doing right here I'm doing a before and after video demonstration I'm going to also go downstairs and coat the screen and then when I get done I'm going to wash it off in my kitchen uh, sink now just to let you know there's no harm to mother earth or I say God's planet due to the fact that um, the chemical is uh, safe for the environment it is eco-friendly so you can wash down your screen in your sink if you choose to all right so now this is the before and after what you're seeing right here this is an everyday uh, sheet of uh, glass right here that I have completely see-through it's not coated with the chemical we have a 100 watt lamp in the back that's pushing light through it so it's not coated with the quantum light fusion or the crystal H technology and let's remove this from the projector really quick I uh, just want to add real quick I had a few people come in and say hey do you need an expensive projector to do this okay now here's the thing with the projectors if you're using this for indoor use uh, your minimum requirements will be 300 lumens so you can go at 300 lumens this one right here is about 200 lumens and this is the uh, NEC BT595 projector a very cheap projector it doesn't make a difference if your projector is LED um, LED uh, DLP laser whatever it doesn't make a difference it makes a difference on lumens now um, if you're project if you're using this inside just to let you know with the ambient light and so forth you can use a projector as low as 300 lumens if you are using this for a storefront window I would strongly suggest that you go with a projector of 3,000 lumens or higher due to the fact that you will be dealing with ambient light coming through the window so your environment is going to be extremely bright due with the uh, inside environment with all the lights and due to the fact that you're going to have um, some form of uh, ambient light cascading through the window so you may want to go with a stronger projector or I suggest a ultra short throw projector which NEC makes a uh, short throw projector that you could uh, hit the screen for should hit the screen at only about I think uh, three or four inches from the screen all right now this is a surface right here that is not painted it's not coated with the chemical and it's supposed to be displaying these flowers. Here are the flowers that you're seeing in the background. All right, so it's not, it's, this is what it's displaying right here are the flowers. You can see them, you can make them out. These are the flowers right here. So we'll get on our knees, we'll lean to the side and we have the 100 watt light on the other end. And this is the image you will get if you use this on regular glass without the chemical. Because I have a few people come in and say, hey, do a before and after video. I want to see what it looks like. Um, if you guys hit this um, with, on regular glass so here it is on regular glass as you can see there's the image right there 
you can't quite make it out at all. And there's the spotlight hitting in. All right? So you're seeing nothing at all, right? All right, now, I'm going to remove everyday regular piece of glass right here. Come over here. I'm going to set it right over here so it can get broken. I'm going to come over here and grab my piece of glass, which has been coated with the Crystal Edge technology, um, invisible 4K chemical or 4K cinema, or whatever you want to call it, and we'll put it right there. Now, I'll get here. And there is my uh, my other piece of other piece of glass, sorry, that's coated with the chemical. And this is what this now mind you, we have a lamp on the other end that's pushing light through this. to the back of it. The back looks fantastic. Even when being hit with the spotlight. Look at that. Looks amazing. Okay, now we are going to we're going to take this and put this back over here. All right, and we're going to take our sheet here. We're going to go downstairs. This is my work area downstairs. Sorry, I can't point the camera upward. I'm working on a few projects. You can't see them yet. All right, so we got our glass right here. We got our uh, Wagner paint sprayer here. Make sure that tip is clean, like good, right there. All right, so I got my paint sprayer right here. I got the chemical solution in there. So, I don't know if you see that, but yeah, that's chemical solution right there. And I'm gonna show you how fast I'll hit the screen. So test spray, so how fast this is gonna be. Let me get my camera to zoom out here a bit here, because I am all up on this screen. There we go, it's a little better. All right, so I'll show you how easy it is. Here we go. Done. That's it. I'm done. All right, so what I got to do now is just take uh, put my cannon down there right there real quick so it doesn't fall over. I come over to my fan. Fan hit it. All right, and that's basically about it. I can't show you everything that goes on behind the back of the area because I don't want you to see anything I'm working on. So, basically, moving something out of the way. There you go. Wow, everything is such a mess. Down here, I gotta clean this area up really, really well. Alright, so it doesn't take a lot, just a little spray back and forth, that's basically about it. Uh, the chemical is very concentrated. Um, a gallon, probably about a gallon, could probably do a, um, a 600 inch window, probably bigger than that. Like I said, it doesn't take a lot. That's what you've seen the spray that I hit it with. We'll get the fan right up on top of it. Sorry about all the noise on the microphone. Alright, so. 
Um, tell you the truth, um, now as been using a paint sprayer, paint sprayers are very easy to use with this. Um, I use the Wagner, I love the Wagner paint sprayer, that's my favorite paint sprayer right there. Anything that Wagner makes I buy, I love their paint sprayers. Very easy to use, uh, let me knock this over a little bit, due to the fact that you have the, um, you have the uh, compressor and, and everything just all in one unit, the gun, the compressor, you know what I mean? And you can just basically just fill it up with the chemical and just uh, put your adjust your settings on it over here and that's pretty much it and you're done and it's this is fantastic to use fantastic for large and small applications I swear that thing just keeps falling over alright alright that's it it's dry so we're done so we're gonna take it upstairs it's already finished it doesn't take long for the stuff to dry. And I'm gonna stick this right up our screen. There you go. It took me less than a couple of minutes to do this. No time at all. Look how amazing that looks. There's a spotlight on the other end, pushing through. Now, it only took me, it only took me a couple of minutes, a couple of seconds, I say a couple of seconds to do this. Or a couple of minutes, I don't know either way you want to go with this. You consider the fact that, um, imagine what you could do with this chemical. Uh, there's so many different applications you can use it for. It's absolutely freaking amazing. As you've seen, I went downstairs, I'll be able to blast this in a couple of minutes. Didn't take any time at all. I'm out of breath because I basically just woke up and I have to climb the stairs. No, I am not. Um, <laughs> just leave that alone. All right, so anyway, uh, guys, you gotta understand it's early in the morning. I just popped up out of bed right now, came down here to this demonstration, and I just wanna show you guys exactly the before and after video and how easy it is to basically apply this. Now, we'll go to the back of this. Here is the back of the glass. even when being hit with 100 watts of light directly in the back of it. Look how close the lamp is, look how amazing it looks. This is the Quantum Light Fusion Chemical, Crystal Edge Technology Chemical, and uh, our Smart Technology Gain. And we're doing this in a fully lit environment, so we have plenty of light. But there is the screen right there. Now, when I get done with my screen, I can take it over here to my sink. All right, and I'll get a little water on this. I have to take my hand here. Now, this is when you're done. You don't want you don't want to continue having this on your window. You want your window to go back to the original form. Um, all you would have to do, I should have a paper towel ready, but I don't have one ready. Yeah, coming unprepared, and you just basically just wipe down your window. Okay. Wow, that just kind of stuck there. All right, off of the glass display. Thank you. All right, so as you can see. There is the chemical, it washes off. Everything is back to normal with your window. Sorry, the window's gonna be a little wet, like I said. So there you are, washes right off. So when you get done your display, now like I said, as long as the chemical does not get wet, as long as no one doesn't come over and splash hot water on it, start rubbing down on the window, which I don't know why that would even happen, the window will stay intact, the chemical will stay intact. It will basically endure everything you can throw at it, but when it's time to basically remove the chemical off your wind, your storefront window, all you would have to do is get a little hot water and soap and just remove it and that's it. This is how amazing this chemical is. 
Well, I'm Kenneth Berg from Crystal Edge Technology Projection Screens using Smart Technology Gain. At the bottom of the video section, uh, we are actually the price will be coming up pretty soon um, on this chemical. We will have price for the gallons, we have prices for the one quart. As for the blackout cloth, that's still going to be on hold because we're still working with the company on getting a proper, uh, clear, transparent surface to transfer the chemical to for the ultimate transparent projection screen. Mind you, the sizes of these screens will be 116 by 9 by 100 inch uh, 235.1 uh, for now we will be doing larger sizes later on in the future well I'd like to thank you all for watching